Vous l'avez forcément you have heard it ou ou read it somewhere. Sustainable development is a kind of development that meets the present generation needs without compromising the future generation's capacity to meet their own needs. It is the most common definition for sustainable development, the one that can be found in official documents and is used as a reference for academical work. But where does it come from? It was first suggested in 1987 in the Brundtland report, the historical reference regarding sustainable development that we're going to discuss today. First of all, we're going to uh, define a few terms, then draw some lessons and discuss the limitations uh, and the advantages of this report. The official title of the Brundtland report was in English, Our Common Future, in French, Notre Avenir à tous our future. Why the Brundtland Report? Because it was named after the then president chairperson of the uh, World Commission for Development, Mrs. Gro Harlem Brundtland, who was then the Minister for Environment in the Norwegian government. Sustainable development, Développement Durable in French, sometimes also in French called uh, Développement Soutenable. Now, careful, because Développement Soutenable does not come from the Brundtland Report, but from another report from the Union Nationale de Conservation de la Nature, published in 1980, a 400-page report report which uh, changes the way development is thought of. The motivation was to su suggest new thoughts for ideas based on the observation that the world is not facing isolated crises, an environmental crisis, a development, cri development crisis, an energy crisis. No, according to this report, there's only one single crisis. Lesson number one. We must think together about development and environment jointly. Environment is where each of us lives, and development is what we're trying to do to improve our life, our fate, within the environment that we live in. And the two are inseparable. Nowadays, what we do need is a new economic growth era a lively, strong growth, which at the same time is socially and environmentally sustainable. In this quotation, we see the three pillars of sustainable development. Lesson number two, we must think jointly between northern countries and southern countries. Therefore, this leads us to a uh, principle whereby we are equal between generations. The Brunton Report is a project including the northern countries and the southern countries. It is a principle of equality between all human beings within the same generation. The fact that the northern countries have a responsibility to bear is, a bear is admitted in the report, but it's also admitted that the southern countries must not follow the same path. So the northern countries must help the south develop in a more sustainable way than the way they developed themselves. Lesson number three, we must think jointly about future generations and current generations, hence the principle of intergeneration equality. Now, the connection between the generations means that we have to uh, give them uh, a legacy of uh, quality in our environment and the quantity of reserves and natural resources that we're leaving to the next generations. And therefore, we must consider the environment in the development in the long term. And thanks to environment, development will become sustainable. Of course, there are limitations, and the uh, report was criticized. It was blamed for providing relatively vague definitions regarding uh, sustainable development. According to Herman Daly, who founded Ecologic Economy, the report does not discriminate between development and growth and does not take a position in favor of a strong or weak sustainability. Therefore, the report is blamed for not providing a very accurate theoretical anchorage. But precisely, the absence of anchorage is also a, an advantage, because first, this is the reason why the Brundtland report is perennial, and also this report is something that everybody can buy into with one's uh, personal 
ideas, idealism. So we must remember that there was intuition and idealism in this report. Harmony is one of the key words, harmony between man and nature, harmony between today's human beings and tomorrow's human beings.